The first step in solving or analyzing a problem with MATLAB often requires defining variables. For example, to create a variable named x that represents the value 3, use this command. In MATLAB, the equal sign is known as the assignment operator. When executing a command with the assignment operator, the value to the right of the equal sign is evaluated, then assigned to a variable whose name is to the left of the equal sign. MATLAB variable names must start with a letter and can contain only lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, and the underscore character. MATLAB variable names are also case sensitive. Let's create another variable named theta1 that represents the value of pi. First, we start the command with the variable name, followed by the assignment operator. End the command with the value of pi. Here, we have used the first five digits of pi. If you can't remember the digits of pi, or if you want a better approximation, MATLAB has a built-in variable representing pi. Using the built-in variable for pi, we can create a variable named theta2 that represents the value of pi with this command. Following the rules of assignment, the expression to the right of the equal sign is evaluated, resulting in the value stored in pi. Then, MATLAB assigns the value of pi to the variable theta2. If MATLAB does not recognize the variable or value on the right-hand side of the equal sign, an error will be produced, as in this command. It is important to note that MATLAB commands are executed line by line in sequential order, starting with the first line. Therefore, if we create a new variable y using this command, and then change the value of x, then the value of y will still be 3, since the variable y was defined when the variable x had the value 3. Finally, note that a MATLAB command may be terminated with a semicolon. The semicolon is optional and suppresses output from MATLAB. Try experimenting with using a semicolon to end your commands to see the impact on the output from MATLAB.